So you may well have heard in the news about the heat wave which is engulfing Europe at the moment. Well, I'm afraid it's coming to Mallorca too and we do have a, an extreme weather warning in place for the coming days. So in this video, I'm going to let you know what you can expect if you're coming over here on holiday very soon and also whether these high temperatures are going to be the same all across the island. So I'm just walking down the side here of the restaurants over here in Cala Estancia. Lovely atmosphere down here for lunchtime today. You can see some lovely views while you are having a meal. But my goodness, we have had some high temperatures this week. Now, during the middle of the week, this week we've had highs of around 38, 39 degrees, and even hotter in some other areas of the island. It has been extremely warm and it's been very debilitating. It's been very hard to do anything resembling work in these kind of temperatures. But most surprisingly of all, actually, with these high temperatures, we have had quite a lot of winds on the island. It has felt like an oven door being opened, actually, and you can actually see on the water over here in Cala Estancia, you can see the winds on the, on the water. You can probably hear it a little bit on the microphone too. On the east coast this week as well, we've had many boat cruises have actually been canceled or postponed just because of the rough water too. The same happened over in Palma Nova yesterday. We had to stop some of the boats from going out because of rough seas, which is actually really surprising when we have such high temperatures here, especially in July, when normally the Mediterranean is like a pond. Now, while Greece, Turkey and Italy have been literally melting in temperatures far exceeding 40 degrees, it hasn't been quite as bad here on anything like the prolonged basis that Greece and Turkey and Italy have had. We have had some very high temperatures, but it hasn't been as hot as you'll see in the news. So please do not panic too much. So looking at the weather forecast for the coming week, I can see actually that some of the highest temperatures we're going to get are going to be up in Soyer, and that's going to hit around 40 degrees on Tuesday. Now it's going to be very hot as well over in Palma, it's looking like it's going to be about 38 or 39 degrees, but the place to be on these days might well be over on the east coast, which is looking to be around 34 degrees, which is positively almost winter-like in comparison to these really super high temperatures. So if you're planning any day trips or you do have a higher car, the East Coast may well be the place to be in the first half of next week. Now you can see that they do have an amber flag flying here on the lifeguard tower over here in Cala Estancia and this as I mentioned before is because of the wind on the water so we don't have a green flag here today. This amber flag does mean to take a little bit of extra care if you're over here and if you're out swimming. My other recommendation on the days when it's going to be forecast to be very, very hot as well, so in the first half of next week, is to maybe just stay put. If you are in a hotel and you have air conditioning, if you've got a swimming pool, then I wouldn't venture too far because sightseeing in this weather really is not such a great idea. By all means, support the bars and the restaurants if you're out and about on the island but please avoid long trips to the other side of the island unless you've got a really good hire car that can take you there. Now, as we're just coming up past the restaurants here in Cala Estancia, as we edge our way into Campastia, I just want to also mention the effect that this hot weather is having on people working here on the island. Now, as you know, Mallorca prides itself on being a fantastic holiday destination, and that includes giving great customer service as well, particularly in our restaurants. Now, if you are coming over here on these very, very hot days when temperatures dip into the late 30s and early 40s, I'm going to just say, please be patient. Work If you are ordering food, if you are getting your bill, or anything like that in particularly busy restaurants, just understand that sometimes these waiters and waitresses have been working shifts for very, very, many hours in really really punishing conditions and just to let you know that everyone really is trying their absolute best as well to give the very very best service but of course it's going to be a hundred times harder when these temperatures really are a lot hotter than they normally are. 
Now the same goes as well for driving. If you're hiring a car, please be careful on the roads. I've seen that people are a lot angrier than they are normally and very, very impatient, especially at roundabouts or at junctions. There's lots of beeping going on. There's lots of fist waving as well. So just take everything calmly on the roads. Just be aware that people are going to be hot and bothered. And this is going to affect maybe your experience on the islands just a little bit. Now I'm just looking out to see here over in Campastia. I can see the kite borders are out too, which sometimes you don't really see in July either because like I said, the waters are normally very calm over here, but I can see the wind surfers and the kite surfers are making the most of these slightly windier waters. Now, is this going to be our final heat wave of the summer? Well, I doubt it, actually. I have a feeling we're going to go through these periods of really high temperatures for a couple of days, followed by some more bearable temperatures like we have today of around 32 degrees, which is just perfect if you're coming over here on holiday. Now, please don't be too despondent. Don't worry too much if you are coming over here on holiday. Just realize that these really high temperatures, they come and they go quite quickly. And if we have any other heat waves to come, well, I'll let you know about it too. So if you're going to be over here when that heat wave hits once again, take it easy, go for a swim, stay in the air conditioning. Go and check out my video which is appearing on YouTube just here about how you can cope with the heat wave here in Mallorca. Find us in the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under the Sun and subscribe if you haven't done so already for all the information coming out from Mallorca to help you prepare for your trip. Okay everyone, thanks very much for watching. I'll just see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.